Well, here the other evening, I get a call from my sister and her granddaughter Paisley was over and said, I found a snake for you. So I drove over there. They don't live too far from my house and uh, found this. This is a plain belly water snake and I've just got him calmed down enough where he's not still trying to bite me, but they are bitey, these little guys. But what I wanted to share with you here was this is one of the more common water snakes around here that are mistaken uh, for the venomous cottonmouth. Now, if you know what you're looking for, they really don't. They don't look anything like a cottonmouth, except for their color. Their color's similar. But if you look at the belly, see there? That's where they get the name the plain belly uh, water snake. And also, you know, like on the, the pit vipers, like the cottonmouth, the copperhead and such, and he's still awfully wiggly. Um, you look again, their pupil. The pupil on the non-venomous uh, water snake is round, where the pupil on the uh, cottonmouth will be that elliptical, uh, what we call a cat eye. And also, if you look at the head, this does not have a get. It's harder when you're recording all this stuff by yourself. They do not have that triangular head. The cottonmouth has just a really uh, big wedge shape of a head, and that's the venom glands you're seeing on that. He's wiggling everywhere. And uh, man, does he stink. People say, oh, water snakes are nasty. They smell horrible. And the funny thing about that is when they get calmed down, they don't emit that musk. But when you first pick them up, just like most snakes, I mean, rat snakes the same way, they will, they'll, you know, secrete that musk and um, out of their vent and it stinks. So anyway, he's kind of calmed down enough that he's not doing that and I'll let you, See if you can see his back, if he'll be still long enough. He does have some pattern there. The other uh, non-venomous water snake that's uh, very common in these parts is the diamondback water snake. And if I can catch one of those, I will, um, I'll do a short video on that as well. But in my part of Oklahoma here in Hughes County, the two most common uh, non-venomous water snakes are this one, which is the plain belly or yellow belly, they call them. Uh, water snake and the diamondback. Now both of these are very defensive when you first pick them up. I, I handled this this guy here for about 15 minutes before I turned the camera on to get him calmed down where he's not just biting every chance he gets. But uh, he's just recently shed so you can kind of see his his uh, pattern and stuff. And, but also this guy here, he's been wounded before. Let me get this up here. If you can see the uh, back of his head Right there, there's a little hole. So something has, he survived uh, something getting hold of him before. And he had another, um, yeah, right here, that scale right there, something uh, had a hold of him when he was younger and uh, he survived it. So I'm what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this little guy and I say little guy, he's a, you know, not, not quite three foot long, they get, considerably uh, bigger than this and a lot heavier body this guy he's he's kind of medium size i guess but they like i say they get considerably bigger than this but they've got a heavily skilled keeled scale which is rough um what else uh, i'll give you another close-up of his head if he'll be cooperative but take a look at the eyes and uh, around his mouth the way the scales are and stuff totally non-venomous couldn't hurt you if he tried and um, like I say they calm down they do pretty good and he is not latched on to me which I'm pleasantly surprised I'm used to these guys biting me when they get the chance so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take him down to the creek over there and I'm going to turn him loose and let you guys see this little guy get back into the wild so he can go about his business of catching frogs now uh, my sister's grandchild Paisley she's Oh, five or six. I, I'm, I'm going to get this wrong, so she'll get mad at me probably. But she said that when I done this video, be sure that I mention she's the one that found it. So Paisley, when you watch this, I'm giving you credit for finding it. And she was a trooper. She held the light for me while I caught it and all. So uh, we'll give we'll give credit to Paisley for finding this uh, uh, this snake. And it was real close. It was in the pond that's right across the yard from their house. So. We're gonna go now, walk it down to the creek and turn it loose. All right, so 
I'm down here at the creek now and uh, got the little plain belly water snake here. I'm looking through it, let y'all get another good look at his eye there. How they got the round eye. The, uh, whoop, he's jerking around. He's ready, he sees that water, he's ready to go. So now, watch him go. He was ready to go. Well, he's still, oh, look here, you can see his pattern under the water there. See his head sticking up. There, you see his head over there? Now, that's a lot different than the attitude of the cottonmouth. Cottonmouth, uh, they're very defensive. These little guys, the non-venomous kind, they will bite you however chance they get if you're trying to hold them. But their main deal is they just want to get away from you. They don't want nothing to do with us. Well, he's happy now. He's back in the creek. As soon as I leave and it gets dark, which it's almost dark, he will go back to his business of catching frogs and minnows. You see him moving underneath there. There's his head under there. All right, well, we got the water snake put back in his natural habitat, and he can go back to doing his water snake things. And their diet, by the way, is pretty much exclusively uh, fish and frogs. So um, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed that and found it informative. And until next time, you guys take care.